Alright guys, so just going to give uh, Purple Sasabi one final look after some unit enhancement. So we are jumping immediately into some arena matches. So we are just going to be in elite tier. So it's going to be pretty tough. So I would definitely say our first enemy is actually the lineup probably may favor us because uh, the enemy does have a shards of good so what that means uh, the yellow sasabi is not going to be targeting or non gundam type unit right away so as far as my lineup i am going to change this up specifically just for that so i am going to put these in so just want to make sure we don't have any gundam type stuff in here so we just we, we won't like immediately get melted down so that's probably going to be a good way for us to do our counter attack so i feel like our penelope is going to be the sacrificial unit for this match i <laughs> i don't want to say I, don't, I hope penelope can survive but i highly doubt it with all the concentrated attacks but it's going to change the module just a little bit for arena wise, I would like to find one that actually gives me speed increase. I am trying to see if we have that in here. This one, oh, this one, yep, we got that right there. Do we have another speed up or something? Oh, there you go. We got a, got a good 18% speed increase. So that should help us, you know, further um, improve our um just traveling distance just make sure that we get there faster so hopefully we can either target i i, I say i want to target probably yellow sasabi first so we get that just get that unit out of the way oh but by the way unit has one what are we looking at so body we are looking at level 51 so 21 31 splits so i just want to make sure we are a little bit tanky in there because this unit itself does not give you any uh, hp you know on transcendent scale and whatnot so we had that i don't really care too much about going all damage with this unit because i don't think this unit is off of that main weapon i was running low on the point so i only gave it 11 11 so for power and ex skill gauge as far as the actual main weapon or the additional weapon the saber um it's going to be 21 11 11 split so we have that and the third weapon um i gave it a 21 11 21 split as follows so this unit i do feel like we do need a lot of works in within the ex skill gauge recovery so i mean I, I just have to do what i have to do so we have that and then oh i forgot to change this right here so we got that done then we have that Okay, I think we should be good to go. Let's see what's the formation looking like. All right, so we're gonna do this. Um, okay, oh no, not this actually. Do this. Okay, all right, I think. <laughs> well, let's pray, or I shouldn't say pray. Let's just hope for the best. I, I trust this obby, all right? I, I trust this unit. <laughs> oh, do, do something. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Okay, just try something, let's go. Perfect, perfect. That's okay. Looking pretty strong in this. Oh no, we got stunned. Oh no. Oh no. We got stunned. There you go. Got the W. Let's go. Final hit on Quibbly with the purple Sasabi. We'll take that. So let's see. Penelope actually survived the whole duration? Am I seeing things? Wow. That is actually quite a shocker. So okay. So we took out, let me let me actually see how many units our purple sasabi took out. So we downed a good right away, actually. Wow. Okay. And then after that, we activate Funnel. We actually inflict the stun on Sisaqui. Okay. Nice. And then we took out Sisaqui. And we took out Gribbly. Perfect. That's, that's solid there. Let's move on to the next one. Alright, for this one, I toss back in the new Gundam because we do have some uh, pe pesky blue you need to take care of. Namely, we do have the new FF and probably Hakashiki. I don't really worry too much about the blue Sasabi. It's definitely been uh, outdated for the time being. Um, my Would I be worried about Yellow Zeta? I think I, I, I would be actually because you know just the enemy popping a lot of EX skill that could actually pose a problem. So I'm actually gonna do this. So I'm, you know, if anything, I would like to have uh, Gatula and just, you know, be, be the sacrificial unit for this time around and we'll see. 
Um, but let's see, let's see how, how this kind of turns out. If we can actually, oh, if we can get these done. If we do get, oh, perp, oh, wow. We stun a Zeta? Dude, that's perfect. <laughs> that is actually really good. Okay, that was pretty smooth. So Yellow Sasabi took it home this time around. And Purple Sasabi did what it needs to do, honestly. But in terms of just popping EX skill, which is, you know, the main thing that I'm, you know, focusing on, this, it, it does not like. I, I put in enough, you know, points into it. I, I wouldn't say there's a lot of points that went into the EX skill gauge recovery section. But, I mean, the fact that we did not pop an EX skill, you know, it, it was pretty problematic because we could have got like a good five seconds done on somebody that could have been helpful but yeah we down we didn't really down zeta like that but we did get the attacks done so that was and that's how it matters i guess in a way so not bad that much overall to zeta that's a that is a lot actually holy that is a lot. all right let's uh keep going then Okay, we have a squad of just AOE EXQ right there. So, okay, let's see. We don't really have any purple to take care of. So our only option is just going to face whoever is in the front, like the first tank up there. So we have that. And okay. All right, I don't have any blue unit to take care of Hamahama. So... Hamahama is going to be the biggest problem, I feel like, because uh, with the combination of every AoE EX skill out there, Hamahama is going to do extra damage and we get the unavoidable status uh, with the help of Hakushiki. So we will just have to see. Oh, let's do this. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. let's do that. That's, that's fine. All right, so we should be able to get a stun on the O right away. Yeah, we stunned the O, so we should be able to take care of the O fast then. Okay. Oh, okay. Did we... How, how are we doing? Okay, so it looks like Hamahama was the last one to die. Yeah, because we don't have any blue unit, so that, that was my biggest story for sure. Yeah, the yellow Sasabi by far was the most... The biggest contributor, just you know, the third, the third weapon, huh? Okay, the third weapon being so that the third weapon should be the melee attack. Wow, surprise, surprise, and yeah, I mean, the purple Sasabi didn't do too shabby. I feel like it, you know, it, it definitely doesn't what it needs to do. I don't know. I I feel like I shouldn't be too harsh on purple Sasabi. Because the stun is actually quite helpful, you know, the fact that, you know, the O couldn't really do much as say, the fact that we locked down on one unit, uh, like the entire match, that, that is cool. And that's, that's essentially kind of like a six on five right away. So, you know, I, I mean, I, I don't know, like, I guess we can probably do one more and see if we will potentially face any tougher enemy. I don't know. All right, I don't ever see too many, you know, Penelope and Cassie pairing. So I actually took, you know, four armor unicorn out of retirement, and I am just going to put it in this direction. I feel like I'm not gonna put it upward because I don't want Quibbly to get a hands on on, you know, four armor unicorn right away. So this is actually pretty good because our first tank that we are going to be focusing is actually just going to be this guy, and I'm gonna see if we can actually lock lock in and do some do something about that gat is going to be targeting that as well and then you know uh, uh, zabi just gonna go right on to their uh, what is equivalently and then we are gonna mark the gpo2 right there so let's see how this one will kind of turn out let's just kind of see um all right okay Alright, so we did actually target Penelope. I think we are actually taking it out fast. Yeah, we, I mean, we did. <laughs> we, yeah, we actually neutralized Penelope just that. Okay, we'll take that. But the MPV is still going to be um, our good pal, the, the yellow one, not the purple one. But the purple one did fairly well in this one. Let's see what we did here 
So Penelope, okay, we hit Penelope and then a guard two times, okay. All right, activate EX skill, literally, oh. Did we already change target? I don't, I don't even know how it died, but we changed target to DO. Inflict stun, increase damage. Okay, we down DO. Wow, it took that much hit? Okay, I mean, it. I mean, in terms of damage dealt, we, we did something for sure, but um, I think that's pretty much all I want to do for the PvP. Um, I do want to move into the, just the co-ops. I do want to show you guys, you know, in terms of after the unit has been, what kind of damage are we looking at? Because I know initially with the T5 testing, I was not impressed with its overall damage. So I do want to give it a second shot just to see what we are looking at. And then we will kind of wrap things up. All right, so again, we are just going to be fighting in double Zeta and it's the same setup as uh, last time around. So I think we just kind of do it a three times speed fashion just because you guys know, you guys know how long this is going to take. And all right, let's kind of see what is going on. It just, it's, it's funny to me how I had this unit in JP and as far as the damage proportion wise, it's pretty much even, all right, but on global, it shocks me how the melee weapon being the additional weapon actually, you know, do you said tap more than what the ranged weapon can do? And it never makes sense to me. But um, I think after the unit enhancement, we definitely do see a significant damage increase. But I wouldn't call it to the point where it's like, wow, it out damaged this unit or that unit. But I definitely say it's definitely due to the nature of how I build a unit. I didn't went for like a full DPS because of how this unit lacks in certain areas where you know we we gotta give it some works to it. While if, if, if you see like a unit like Gacha Lashman, for example, it has all the elements that it needs to use in you know general content like co-ops or just an arena where I don't, I'm not gonna worry about the unit just outright dying in 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 an instant, but. There you guys have it, in terms of just a quick co-op like this, yeah, you guys can see we are still severely lacking in terms of the damage department, but I mean, a, a unit cannot really be, it just cannot fit into every content possible. There's certainly units that are good in general content, there are always going to be units that are just specifically good for arena, so uh, that's why this is just to prove that Sasabi may not be like that, you know, it's that all round of that you should pull for i definitely say wait for some other better unit that can excel specifically let's say in you know general content or you know specifically that excels in um arena because like you know like i mentioned before we just nowadays we just have so many good units out there like do you really need it and could you even fit it onto your roster that's the biggest thing because for me, I, I have a lot of these units that, you know, if I don't have the purple sasabi, I'm, I'm cool with it because I already have other units that will fulfill this specific slot. So having having this one or not having it, to me, don't really matter. But for the rest of the player base, I know not a lot of people will have every single unit out there. So that's why it's very important to decide, could this unit be of a beneficial to your box? So that's the thing that you guys should definitely decide um, how you want to handle it. Um, probably by the time you guys are watching this, maybe there's still a few hours for you guys to decide. Or not even, no, I, I, should, I shouldn't say a few hours because now think about it, this banner actually runs in, I think it runs for a week or two. So you guys definitely do have some time to kind of digest to see, you know, all right, do you, you sh do you want to summon it on on it or not? Because I know they have already released the clan battle and the total war. What kind of unit? Uh, what kind of enemy element they are? So we already or I I did already guess what kind of unit they they should be releasing. But uh, I'm I'm not gonna go on any further. Uh, I I don't want to make this video extensively long. But yeah, that's gonna be pretty much all I want to show you guys. And I'll be catching us all on the next one.